Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Corpse Party. I've been meaning to play this in ages to be honest, but I haven't got around to it. I don't exactly know where I left off, I can't remember. But what I do remember is we tripped over and we've seen that ghost over here. Tripped over, no, that's it. I can't remember what happened, to be honest. Came in here. Looking for something. That, that made me jump and I don't know why. Right, so yeah. And then this this one at the very end as well. It opened it and it screamed. The smell of ammonia is almost staggering here. Wow. Ugh, I hate, like, uh, I hate the piss smell of public bathrooms, they're horrible. Do not want to smell that, like. I don't know where. At all. Oh, oh god. Uh, I stepped in it. Oh, you did? Yeah, I've got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off. Ugh, these... These are definitely someone's guts. And when I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made me a squishy sound. It made a squishy sound. Like I just plopped my shoe into a juicy pile of dog poo. Oh god. That's way too much information. That is like, you're gonna make me puke. Sorry. Oh, that's gross as fuck that, like. Right. Check what another one. Look in here. Can we go on the beds? Oh! Somehow I expect the beds to be a lot dustier. They are surprisingly clean. That's good though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Weary bones. Yeah, I think I'm going to lie down for a bit. All tucked away in the corner like that. I've always preferred no nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. <laughs> I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm going to take a look. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. Uh. Ah, this will do nicely. Ah, this will do nicely. I got me a makeshift splint and some bandages that sprains a gunner. Now hold still. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. Alright, you're wrapped up tight. How's it feel? Mm, feels great, Sekiro. Thank you. <laughs> you're very welcome. I've sprained my ankle pretty badly before too, so I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice or something to put on it though. No worries, you've done more than enough already. Uh, you're asleep now. It's fair enough, I guess. Glad you agree. <laughs> Slumberland for me. You're really an oddball, you know that? Can you hear a door or is that the beds? So, hey, Naomi? If we find Machida, have you thought about what you want to do with him? Eh? Well, you know what they say when two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say? It's oft it often leads- Oh, wow. Love. Sweet love. Oh. Why the fuck do you think of that in this type of ca in like a, a place like this? You should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creep in this creepy place and your cuteness fact I'll grow three sizes in his size in his eyes I bet. <laughs> I am never gonna do that ever again. I swear, with you around I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school, like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Thanks for your advice, I'll think about it. Yeah, I hope we find him soon. Uh-huh. 
You kind of don't though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish he didn't have to be put through all of this. You want to see him, but you wish he could rest easy knowing that he's safe. You wish you could rest easy knowing he's safe and sound back home, rather than wandering around here. Am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in. Huh. You're in a deep one, to be sure. She may seem like an idiot, but she's right on all counts. Guess there's no fooling Seiko. I've been pretty curt. I've been I've been pretty curt with her since we've got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize. Yeah. Hmm. <gasps> And what was that exactly? Yeah, sorry, it's just that when I see that ass or yours, I start to dr Really? Really? Okay? You are so weird. Yep, I know. <sighs> oh no. That was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. You stay in here and rest, okay? I'll be back into Jiffy. I don't think that that's such a good idea. I should go too. I insist. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Just keep that ass parked on that bed. You got it? Really? Well, but look, your ankle is all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. Alright, I guess I'll stay here. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to, like, stay alone. Mm, my ankle really does feel a lot better, Seiko has it. Definite knack for caretaking. Care uh, miss you and the others, Satoshi. I wonder what they're all doing right now. Oh, I'm not playing with someone else now. Gumble, gumble. I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. Mm, Who ever heard of a class representative with such a statistic streak? It's back at the start, isn't it? Yeah, we ever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? Eek, save me! Don't be an ass, sh your sh Yoshiki. Okay, okay, let's not have any fighting. I have to admit though, his reaction was awfully cute. Oh, I was... Ah, uh, I wasn't playing as him then. I just want to see him. Why did he... Why did this have to happen? So... I'm walking around now, man. What, what am I meant to do? This place is in the shelves. All bloodied up. There's an old journal on the desk. At least it appears to be a journal, yeah. Has anything changed or... Am I meant to save or something? Hmm. Why is the door locked? On closer inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed or any other evidence that it's been locked at all. What? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? What did that say? It won't budge. It's as if it's been completely fastened to the wall through invisible bonds. <laughs> oh, this is creepy. Laughter. A little girl. Are those children? Let's all go on a field trip together over summer vacation. Uh, who? What? Can I go out now? Nope. Yeah. What? Wash the blood with soap now. There's an old journal on the desk. At least it appears to be journal. Right, so the journal's still not on opening. You and Buddy on the wall and closely paint over. Yep. My head hurts so bad I can't stop this ringing in my ears. Uh oh. See if that does out. I meant to just keep walking around. 
The door is latticed with countless strands of black hair rooting it in place. Scissors, isn't it? No way. Is is someone there? It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. No fucking way. Sachi? Have you come to find me? <gasps> Fuck off! What the? Ah. Ignore that. I don't know how it sound. It's good. I need to get away. No fucking way. No way. What the fuck? No. I didn't mean to do that. The black mist begins to wrap itself around Naomi's body. There's no question that this is a malevolent fo force. If it continues, death is inevitable. Oh, where did they come from? I think I know what I need to do. Oh, yes! Flame wasn't strong enough to do any significant damage. Right, I think. If I go in here. What? It's empty? Alright. I'm stuck. Alright. Looking closely at the, the whole shelf seems to be shaking violently. There was scissors in here. Oh, come on. I use my match for me, yes. Keep doing it. This isn't going to work. I need more ma more than just matches to bend through all of this. Isn't there anything super flammable in here? I'm also supposed to get the candle. No. Oh. <gasps> there's already a candle! No, there's a previously improbable lamp now shines with an unnatural, almost ethical glow. What? No! Oh. Right, this is actually starting to really creep us out. Can I use one of the sheets? Oh. No. Paper on the wall? No. Scratch, 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 scratch. Hyperhazardly scrawled, short and begins appearing in the journal on the desk as if being written by an unseen hands. The letters are some so mishap and, and inconstant, however, that they're completely illegible. Ill illegible. Medicine and tonics are lined up. Take the bottle of rubbing alcohol. Yes. Quite rubbing alcohol. Right. <laughs> Fuck off! Get out. The door's laced with countless, yeah. Do the haze and rubbing alcohol. Yes. After hastily splashing alcohol all over the edges of the door, Naomi lit a match in an attempt to burn through the seemingly, seemingly endless strands of hair. With a sizable whoosh and a waft of foul smelling heat, the hail lit up, then hardened and fell away, freeing the door and allowing it to open. Oh, thank God! <laughs> uh, uh. Oh. I'm going to kill you! Oh, Pada Pada. What happened? Are you okay? Sego, sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for barfing, you poor girl. Blech. Everything's okay, you'll feel better now that it's out of your system. You need me to rub your back? Oh, I think I'll be fine, thanks though. Did you find Yuga? Huh? Oh? Looks like we really are the only two people here. The only two living people anyway. This place is just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg any better? Are you okay to be up and about? 
While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black a apparition thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. We should consider the, the that room off limits from here on out though. That's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I guess we'd better keep moving then. Can you stand? Yeah. But, where are we supposed to go? Hmm? Well, we've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. And the only other people we've come across are all dead. Damn it. Then, uh, there I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished and I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. No, Na Na Naomi. Come on, it's not that bad. We'll figure something out. Class to Niners. Class 2 to Niners. Never say die, right? We're invincible. I've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I intend to keep it. And then in the afternoon, what say you and I get go get our bikes, bikes fixed? Sounds like a plan, right? If we make it back alive, sure. This is Seiko. What am I? This is Seiko. What am I doing? I just can't seem to hold back. Naomi, are you like super duper tired or something? This is not like you. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to to fear is fear itself. Yeah. What the hell has got you so chipper? Huh? Hmm? You just keep smiling and laughing. D -d Do I? Tell me, how long is that going to last if it turns out we can never leave ho never go home again? Have you given that thought at all? Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure something out? That's a crock and you know it. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. This whole situation was just more than my soul can could bear. I thought I'd be keeping sacred spirits up till the bitter end. But just like that, I was ber berating her, abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out. I was crying out. Irrationally and couldn't stop. Venomous words were flowing through my mouth as if someone had turned it on a spigot. All I could do was moan, complain and, and betile. I really was b behaving just like a spoiled little brat. I'm sure our families going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. You're wrong. How so? About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can, whatever you can to make her proud. You just want to, you just want to, so, do, so you do. What is wrong with me? Seiko's mom disappeared several years ago, I know that. So why am I putting her through all through all of this grief? That's how I think the people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family. But normally people don't work that way. Naomi. Naomi. Sorry, how about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a crew to help get, get help us get out of here. Seems the most efficient plan of attack, don't you think? Who? Who says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home just as much as you do. Back to my dad and Yui. Y you and everyone else. And I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault, I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you, of all people, to speak to me like that. Sorry. Seiko, I'm... I'm... I'm so sorry. I'm so... Sorry, I... She didn't say sorry. I... I'm sorry too, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. I'll go this way. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to apologize. And so, 
in this nexus of closed spaces where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed. Two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favour of being trapped together in this unforgiving place, quickly and easily divided. My petty obstinacy towards Seiko would come to be the biggest regret of my life. As the consequences of the threat, uh, as the consequences of that heated exchange, we f we're, we're far more dire than I ever could have imagined. Subwell, Naomi, that jerk. So I guess it's automatically put us through here. I think I just heard somebody calling out. Follow the voice. Yes, obviously. Hmm? That was the, the first time, huh? The first time I ever fought with Naomi like that. <laughs> well, I don't, why am I doing that? You can hear it. From the moment Sick and I parted ways, the fear I'd be harboring since I got here just kept shower growing stronger and stronger. I felt like something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. In my mentally drought state, I ran all through the building frantically searching for Seiko. I just kept calling her name over and over again. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself standing on the third floor hallway. Seiko! Seiko! Seiko, where are you? Seiko. Come on, Seiko. Don't leave me by myself in here. Oh. Uh-oh. Seiko, is that you? Uh-oh. I guess I can't go in that way. <gasps> no! The stall door is locked from the other side. Someone's definitely in there. No! <gasps> no! Seiko! Seiko! No! Why? Why? No, no! <laughs> No, me. Seiko! Seiko, you're alive. Hold on, I'll get you down. <laughs> Sorry, who? What do I do? What do I do? The noose around Seiko's neck is attached directly to the ceiling, and there's nothing at her feet. All attempts to help her are just strangling her further. What am I meant to do? I have to. Her neck. Oh, no, no, no. That's just making it worse. I need a, p a platform. Something for her to stand on. Oh my god, am I meant to like... <gasps> the bucket? I might be able to use it as a footstool. Thanks, splash splatter. Ugh, this is revolting, but if it saves Seiko... Ah! Significant number of maggots have found their way out in Naomi's hands and skirt. Acquired filthy bucket. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. <laughs> filthy bucket f f f fell from Naomi's hands. With blank eyes, Seiko swung back and forth, slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. No. No, no. No way. I can't believe she did. she kill herself or did someone like make her kill herself? No, obviously you would think Naomi made her kill herself, but I mean like did a a ghost like part of it or something. 
Why would you hang yourself? You were smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't you say we'd find a way out of here together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. Oh, say something. Say oh, go. I know that was a scream, but I want to apologize to you for what I said. Up until just a few hours before I was laughing and playing in school with my best friend. Now here she was right in front of my eyes. Lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept that as reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. This can't happen! Continued in chapter 2. Wow. Hope's potty blood covered. Oh, well that was mint. That was a really good ending. Well, mm, this has been Corpse Party. Thank you for watching. This was part two. Wait, part two? No, it's not. Like, you, you know what I mean. It's... I can't remember what part this is. I think it's... it's four? Part four? But, um, thank you for watching. I will make... Sorry. Pardon me. I will make another episode on chapter two coming up soon. Make sure to... Uh, to watch that because this is getting really interesting um stay tuned for more and see you